Okay, folks, welcome back. Sorry, it's kind of a weird place to cut off the last video, but uh, it is Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm still a mysterious JG, and Yuna's getting married in the morning. Unless we can put a stop. Firefighter dude does. Monster B. This isn't the time to max out experience for all party members by switching people in and out. We just need to hurry up and save you know. Although we are getting apparently decent experience from this. Including the fact that Titus now has delay attack. That's pretty important. You guys got anything to say? How about you guys? You want to say anything? Alright. Oh, somebody came up to us. With their robot super pal. I'll so use delay attack on him. That was stupid. I should have let him attack the other guy. Because now this guy will get off an attack, but. Ugh. It doesn't matter now. I mean, that's the only attack those guys. Oh, no, he survived. Yeah. I'll be surprised by that. Rust kick. Ah, oh, it sucks that ejects from battle. I think Kamari already got this though. In the last video, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Nice is gonna thrust kick everybody, huh? That's one way to win a battle. Just. Eliminate all my party members one at a time. I don't think he's allowed to thrust the last person, is he? But he could just defeat her in a straight up fight. He's got higher agility, so apparently he gets to attack more often than she does. Yeah, I won that one pretty much by myself, and I have no reaction whatsoever. Even the guys who rejected get experience, so that's nice. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they're just not going to let us have this one. So, attacks. They want us to defeat the frontline enemies so that we can, uh, get at this guy. Fires mortars at us. Well, I say, why not take him out while he's still in the back row? Although he's. I don't think we could have wiped out all those guys that quickly anyway. Like, oh crap, artillery support's down. We better get rugged defense or we're doomed. Oh man, thank goodness she was able to dodge there. She would have died. I really need her turn to come up so she can use drain. And get a lot of that back. One very cool thing about Lulu. Sucking men's souls to replenish her own health. And also her completely nonplussed reactions to winning in battle. Oh, 
Okay, looks like cinemas are kicking in. So maybe we defeated enough uh, regular monsters. Time for a boss fight or something. This has gone far enough. Tell me what Xanarkin was like now. Stop. How time? Oh, it was a little late with that joke, JG. Kept waiting for something else to be said. You know? There she is. Come on, Titus. You know you want to yell it. Come on, Titus. It's your best line. He was going to yell it, and they stopped him. His mouth looks really weird there. Now, yeah, pick your teeth for you. I love her little gloves. They're so dainty. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Well, you didn't give me a lot of choice, your asshole. Is admirable. All the so it's your figure. Be my lovely wife. <laughs> it's the interesting thing about having a zombie as an opponent. All you got to do is a little Stop. dance, and he's defeated. But Micah doesn't want him to do it, apparently. Do you not value your friends' lives? Do you feel like I do? Well, not Titus's. Your actions determine their fate. Mary Seymour, and Don't they'll be given me. wonderful prizes. Or throw them away. The choice is yours. It's kind of a revealing wedding dress, isn't it? Just the, the thighs I'm talking about. Pop, pop them. Peeking through there. The, whatever. You know, you really, you're, you're really you really never going to talk again throughout this entire game, are you? You're a jerk, Seymour. I'm wise enough to see that you're a jerk. If anyone knows any reason that this clearly terrified girl and the zombie freak who is threatening her friends should not be wed. Uh, uh, Dude, looks like shut up, Ricker. She wasn't gonna do any better. Straighten up, she's wearing a maester. He's not really dressed for a wedding. Emperor Palpatine presiding. I now pronounce you man. You may put your torpedo in her small thermal exhaust port. Kill them. Such an awesome line. There's really no reason that they don't follow up here. I mean, it's 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 completely diffused by the fact that the guards just stand sorry, there. But but it is for Yevon. It's a great line anyway. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. You just killed Titus. Gun had a silencer, just shot him, and then turned to Orn. I'm anticlimactic. Wait for Titus no! to go. Oh, everything's gonna be just Throw right for Yuna. Let them go, or else. Now, honey, I know you're just upset right now, but once we consummate, everything will be better. Because Seymour, my boys, it's got the special off-white wedding booties. <laughs> Do it, Titus. You haven't yelled Yuna for a while now. Kill them, like I said. Leave now, please. I don't really you want you there. That. Don't worry. Go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> she just wipes a big booger off her nose. Okay, whatever. Whatever makes Don't you happy. Worry. I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe, believe. I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Something, something that fly away. Okay. That apparently gave me the confidence to do it. The fact that Titus is gullible enough to buy into her crap. Now, before you guys are safely away and protected, I will kill myself. Damn. I really 
really did want to consummate at least before I killed her. But this is actually a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool idea because this would actually kind of work. She summons Veilfor without doing her traditional little dance, but Veilfor, luckily, is able to pick up on what's needed here instead of just being like, "What? What do you want? What?" Splat! Oh, oh, you wanted me to catch you? I'm sorry. You should have told me that when you summoned me. And Riku has to save the day because the rest of them are too, well, just kind of stupid to think of anything cool. Waka, completely blind because he didn't cover his eyes at all. An all that flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Never seen Luke right through book like that before. Presumably Kamari carrying Titus, although I didn't really see that. Where'd Muni go? The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The cloister. The Chamber of the Faith! Well, Cloister of Trials, I figured, but... I guess we'll have to do with the deal with the Cloister of Trials, because there's no way that we don't get one here. That would make things way too easy. It's too quiet. Too, too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us! Did you notice that? How witty I was? Someone mentioned traps and I went, It's a trap? Yeah, I'm, I'm real funny like that. Huh? It's an Atari 2600! What's a Machina doing in the temple? Just sitting there. I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean! The teachings! What about the teachings? Fuck a bunch of teachings. Hey! Don't look at me! But there, but, but, Jesus did come to North America and meet with the Indians, yeah? Well, there was a save sphere out here, now we can't go out to that room? What the hell is that about? And we've got stairs leading down, but they're kind of long. Or you can use this machina. As far as I know, it doesn't affect anything which way you do this. But if you hit the machina, the stairs move you themselves, so that's nice. Very convenient. Another machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. Yevon showing their true colors and their yellow. They treated us like dirt. They lie in wait like wolves. The smell of blood in their nostrils. Waiting. Interminably waiting. I believe there is an Albed primer here. The entrance totally to the trials. Miscible. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Let's go. 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 How many of those have I still got to get? Uh, one, two. Da, 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 da. We're missing 15. Well, we're missing 15. Also, uh. Looks like we're missing, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we're missing, like. 5. I don't think we had that many left to get. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and fifteen. That's five. We're still missing five. All right, folks. So, huzzah! It's a Chamber of the Faith video. I'm just as excited as you are, folks. At some point, I gotta check and make sure that I know where all the Albed primers are, because I feel like I'm gonna miss one. I hate to think there's more than one of them in this in Bevel, because I'm pretty sure Bevel. Considering the circumstance of our being here, I don't think we're allowed to wander back in once we get ourselves out of here. Because, spoilers, you are eventually able to escape Bavel. We are not all rounded up and killed. Okay, so we get teleported down to the landing gang gang here. And yay, we're on some kind of techno fabulous roller coaster. 
firm direction. This is kind of a weird one. You have to press the trigger buttons to move yourself when you get to these little ones with arrows that go back and forth. There's more than one direction you can go in. We activated something. We made a little thing appear. But we can't get back out of here. Seems like we gotta have a sphere in this thing before it'll move. Or maybe not. Maybe I should have... Oh man, maybe I didn't need to do that. Maybe I should have kept that sphere there. Well, I'll get another chance. There is actually just a little bit of timing involved in this because you gotta try to hit the button when the arrow is pointing the right way. So let's see if you actually need a sphere in here for this thing to work. Or if I can pop in a sphere and plug this gap, which is obviously someplace I'll need to be able to go later. Okay, if I'm able to push it easily once the sphere is in there, then I'll assume that that's what's going on. In which case, I need to find another sphere somewhere before I can uh, take care of what needs to be taken care of. I'm going to let myself go to the top of this thing, which I think just deposits me, deposits me at the beginning again. There's no point going down because I believe the gap has been cut off. Let's go this way then and see if there's just a sphere here that's not doing anything. There is. So the first step of this convoluted puzzle is to move this sphere over to the opposite side. I'm imagining it's going to get more complicated after this. This is probably just their way of introducing you to how the puzzle mechanics are going to work in this particular cloister. So I want to go left this time, because we've been turned around 180. Put one of those spheres here, and then... Then the next time I get to the top of that roller coaster thing coming down, I need to head off down and to the right. So that's simple. this. We've got a very little brief moment where Yuna was hanging around again, but we still haven't actually gotten to meet up and talk with Yuna after all this crap. And uh, she and Titus need to have a little discussion. There's a certain you didn't tell me you were gonna die thing going on. It's like, I think as your prospective boyfriend, I deserve to know that you were gonna freaking die. Alright, so now we've plugged the gap. I think if we came down here before, it would have just been sent immediately back up. And we're going underneath? No, we're going onto this thing. So let's try going this way and see what the hell is going on. See, this one moves a bit faster. This is not the last Cloister of Trials puzzle sequence we have to do, but in my opinion it's probably the most involved and complicated of them. I think we need to do something else before we can do anything with this path. I 
maybe there's something useful over here. Oh, there's a glyph sphere or something. Pop the glyph sphere in here. Then see what happens if you take the Bavel sphere out of here and put it into where the glyph sphere was. Possibly nothing. Oh, it made some shit light up. And the glyph sphere will apparently let this thing move, so let's let's try trading those and seeing what happens. Oops, don't think I meant to go that way. So let's keep trying this level before we mess with anything else. Let's see what this is. Well, that would appear to be where we want to put the destruction sphere, but... That didn't seem to do anything useful. So I begin to wonder if I'm supposed to have put a Bavel sphere there, sphere, whatever they're called, and make some kind of path appear. The, um, this whole mechanic with the, uh, with the sphere, um, sorry, with the uh, Cloisters of Trials, completely removed from Final Fantasy X2, I'm happy to say. That didn't go right at all, but um, it did not appear that I was, it didn't appear that there was any opening for me to go where I wanted to go there. I'm trying to get on this, the second of these things, not this one, but this one, and go right, and I don't think I had an opening to do that here before. Because even though this thing looks kind of cool with the Bavel sphere in it, it doesn't seem to be doing any good. Unless I'm supposed to... Well, I'm going to try something. I don't remember exactly how to do this, so there will probably be some experimenting and some false starts. I'm going to try to ride this over to... Uh, the next space and see what happens if I put a Bavel Sphere there and if nothing happens I'll come back and put the Bavel Sphere back here. There is a third level that I could be going down but I'm not going to mess with it until after I'm pretty sure I've done everything to be done up here. Just barely was able to stop from starting that one all over. So there should be a Bavel Sphere right here which I should be able to take. And then if I put it over here, something's got to happen, right? Yeah! But what exactly happened? That's where the destruction sphere has to go. So I'll have to bear in mind that I'll need a Bavel Sphere for that later, but I don't want to put it there right now. I want to put this Bavel Sphere back, and then try to go into that little area where I couldn't get to before when there's a Bavel Sphere in that place where it was making a bunch of weird runes appear. Yeah, we'll be going over a lot of this two and three times over. <laughs> So Yuna presumably just gets to wander right up to the uh, the Faith without having to deal with this shit. It's just between Titus and his party members and their access point. And 
And there is a sequence in Final Fantasy X2 when you're wandering around in the Bevel Temple. But, um... Mercifully, although they, they, they keep this, like, artistic look, they it doesn't work the same way. Now, Bobo, in a personal message I got recently when we were discussing... Well, you know, we were discussing different games that we'd like to see people LPing, and, uh... I mentioned Final Fantasy X2 as something that would be fun to watch a specific person LP. And he came back and said, But I thought the only reason you were LPing Final Fantasy X was so that you could eventually LP Final Fantasy X2. <laughs> I just want to make this clear, folks. No, that is not the case. Final Fantasy X is a far superior game. Certainly in story, which for the LP audience would probably be one of the most important things. Well, we got to see the, uh... We got to see those little weird runes from the other side, but, uh... It doesn't seem like we got to do anything with them. I'm not really sure I get it. I guess we gotta go down to that third level and maybe things will start to become clear, but to me it seems like... Something ought to be happening here. I mean, I got the glyph. I don't get it. All right, so we got to go down down a level. See if that changes things in an interesting way. And if I decide to do this whole cloister in one video, which I think I will, just to give people the option of skipping that video. You can't skip this video, though, folks. This video features uh, Yuna's wedding. <laughs> the big makeout session for Yuna and Seymour. But, uh, yeah, I, we'll, we'll try to get the pain of this cloister over in one video. It might be a little long. Oh, there's really not much to this level, is there? Just one more, uh, sphere. So, okay. There really wasn't much point putting this off. I thought there'd be a whole other level of paths to explore down here, but no. I guess maybe riding this thing to that area when I've got a Bavel Sphere. There's more Titus' no nostrils than you ever wanted to see. And creepy revolving Titus. That's exactly what the selfie needs more of. Yes. Managed to snag it. I thought they were going to prevent me. I hope it's okay that the, uh... Oh wait, no, this is how I want it. I think the Bevel Sphere is going to be facing towards the Crazy Runes. I don't know what the hell the Glyph Sphere is even for then, other than just being a sphere that you... Oh no, I, no I'm going the wrong way. Shoot. Yeah, I think I want the... Uh, I want to switch the Glyph and the Bevel Spheres. And since uh, if somebody came up with a better explanation the game ever bothers to give you that he can't hold spheres in each hand because it'll like they react to each other's energy or something. But yeah, basically we need a receptacle for the sphere before we can move anything around. I'm pretty sure putting the glyph sphere in there didn't do anything, but let's just double check. Oh, I didn't bother to check. I probably should have checked that. So here's the destruction sphere. Now I'm thinking that's what I needed to continue along. Okay, well that's what the glyph sphere is for. You just trade it for a destruction sphere. Okay, I feel silly. I didn't even think to try that. Depending on whether that other Bevel Sphere is necessary, you might not even need to go to that third bottom floor to complete this puzzle. Alright, well there's really only one place to go now. That's over here. I remember 
my biggest concern with this one I played it years ago was trying to figure out what I was supposed to do to get the Destruction Sphere related treasure. There's always a treasure that the Destruction Sphere gives you without just clearing this. That's That's been my concern in a lot of these. It's like, alright, it's easy enough to figure out how to get out, but where the hell do you use the Destruction Sphere? Okay, apparently it still isn't happy with me. This is bullshit. So, it doesn't want the Destruction Sphere there. Will it let me switch them? No, it won't. Can I ride along with a Destruction Sphere in my hand? I'm just trying to avoid having to go someplace to switch spheres around. Will having the Destruction Sphere in my hand change something? No. Nope! Just plain old, no doubt about it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm just doing it wrong. I will make one more attempt by holding this in my hand to avoid having to go back and switch the order of these spheres. Which to me seems really silly. Or maybe I need to put the destruction sphere in that room where I've got the Bavel sphere right now making those glowing glyphs. Either way, this certainly isn't working. I thought I was really close to being done with this, too. Alright. I just have to get the Bevel Sphere. Uh, I'll try getting the Bevel Sphere and the Destruction Sphere to switch positions. Or maybe I'll put the Destruction Sphere here first and see what happens. Then I can put two different Bevel Spheres in place. How do I do that, though? If I put this away, then I take this out, I won't... No, I won't be able to do that. It's not going to let me do that, because I can't... Ugh. Titus has got severe muscle control issues in his left hand, so he can't hold the spheres. Alright, so we'll do a big sphere switcheroo here and see what happens. I suppose I could put the Destruction Sphere there and see if anything happens. I don't see why it would, but... It doesn't. So, we will try this. Then, if this doesn't work, we will try putting two Bevel Spheres here and assume that that whole thing where a bunch of glyphs appear if you've got a Bevel Sphere in that little thing is just a trap and what you actually need is two Bevel Spheres. But if that's the case, I don't see how you get the Destruction Sphere down to the next level, which I believe has to be a key to getting a treasure. Bottom line is, I don't remember how this works and I'm confused. But there's really not that many things left to try, so one of them's pretty much got to work. I don't think I'm missing anything huge and basic about how this puzzle works. I don't think I'm missing anything like fundamental to how this is supposed to work. I think I just need to keep fidgeting around with different combinations of spheres until this thing's happy. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll put the Destruction Sphere away. Maybe having those glyphs there is representing the fact that I can't go through like that. Or maybe the Destruction Sphere is supposed to go in there, and that's where I get the treasure, and I'm just not remembering. I seem to remember that you get the treasure the very last thing you do before you leave the dungeon. Either way, I've got to go back over here again. This is the only place where Titus is able to actually work with the spheres and change where they are.
Alright, I will try putting a Bevel Sphere here. And putting the Destruction Sphere over there. In the slot that's currently causing the glyphs to glow over there, which I thought was probably a sign of progress, but apparently it's not. There's, I'm almost positive there's no reason to go back up. And I blew it. So let's do this again. This is just an annoyance, not even puzzle aspect. It's just let's throw a little quick annoying button timing thing into the middle of the puzzle. All right. So let's get rid of this. Destruction sphere does anything. What if I take it back out? Okay, that thing stops being lit. So I guess I don't know. I'll know for sure whether I did this right much later, because if you get all the Destruction Sphere treasures, um, it allows you to gain access to a certain place that you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. There'll be, like, different statues, and if they are lit up, then it means you got the Destruction Sphere treasure from the corresponding uh, cloister, and if they don't, then you didn't. And I just messed that up. But I feel like I should go down there with all the spheres I can. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll have two Besaid Spheres. The Destruction Sphere has to stay up here, so hopefully I'll just find a treasure chest down there that will count as me having gotten a Destruction Sphere treasure, since it would appear that this is the only cloister in which you actually need the Destruction Sphere to win, and it's not just a way that you can unlock a bonus. Bring your dog around later, I'll give him a bonus too. One last chance to screw up the timing. I have a feeling that this should be the end of this. I sure hope it is. Oh, I don't want there to be another set of puzzles downstairs. Oh, wait. I guess I want to push it this way. I think... There's paths going left and right behind Titus, which means... I can't tell where the camera angle went, but I think that means it's the wrong way. Yep, there should only be one path. And it leads up, not down. My mistake. And you fade to black, and... Come up here... And there's a treasure chest, that would be the Destruction Sphere treasure, I guess. HP Sphere, that sounds about right. I need to save state in case I screw something up and go the wrong way here. Appears to be nothing going on over here. What happens if you step on this? That thing pops back. Going this way help you? Probably not. I think I was supposed to do something else before I went over there. Yuna? Yuna! It's no, I was supposed to do something else. I was supposed to do something with this. Popping a Makalania sphere in here. We'll open that up. This, oh, I have to do 
another one of these stupid things. I can't just walk across and get the treasure. Fine. Alright, game. I'll do it your way. He just, he just gets it. I didn't even do this. I just get it automatically and hop right back across. Because Titus is like, this is too freaking stupid. I can't be bothered with this crap anymore. Alright, folks. That's it for this video. When we come back... Titus is going to go, Yuna! So that'll be exciting. As you can see, I've got RTK80. I'm not sure why this is on my screen right now, but it's a good way to break up the videos. When we come back, folks, hopefully Yuna's inside. Like Intel. We'll see. This was Serious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.